Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is video 2 of my 3 upload series, and this is going to be covering custom UI, such as those nice round squared buttons and menu screens. So without wasting time, let's get started. So we're here in Roblox Studio, we're in the, the tween UI that Roblox, which is the other video I made previously. You don't need to watch it. We're just going to be making this UI here look better. But I've wasted enough time. So to actually get started with this, you don't need any downloads, no links, no images. You just need this asset, which I put in the description below. And this asset is actually, let's actually get an image label. To do this, you just need this asset, which is a circle. Yes, it's just a plain circle. Make sure uh, yeah, you set the background transparency to one. And all we're going to need for the, this video is going to be a circle. You're going to be like, a circle? How? Um, we're going to be using a technique called nine slicing. Now, I've put a link in the description on a developer page on a user who created this wonderful d explanation but it's kind to kind of hard to understand for some of the younger viewers so i'm going to be explaining it in this video so what nine slicing is is it just allows you to stretch your image or scale it by sector now if you don't get this i'll just pull up this video image I drew here. Uh, nine slicing essentially puts four points anywhere you want. In this case, we're going to put all four points in the center of our image and it allows us to scale or change these sectors separately. So I'll show you that now. To get started with nine slicing, we're going to get our circle. I'm going to go in the description or the image thing here in our properties tab. And we're just gonna change the scale type to slice. Now this new parameter is gonna pop up and it's called slice center. If you're using the asset I provided in the description to slice center should just be 500, 500, 500, 500. And you're going to get exactly this. I did something here. Anyways. You're going to get this right here, the four sectors. And if you don't understand, when you scale it, it's just going to change the two right sectors in our image. And as you can see, we get this nice round effect, round round rectangle if you of some sorts. It's not yet. And yeah, that's actually how you do it. You can change the color of this thing, so that's the wrong one. We have to go in the image color here. And you can change it to what you want. So, oh, you want a nice uh, vibrant uh, blue? We get this blue color. But you're probably like, that's not how they make it in the Roblox game. Some of them are just round rectangles. I bet they drew it. No, actually. You can change this by changing the the slice scale here. If you want to make it less round, you can just set it to 0 0.05, and we get this rectangular effect. You can change this to whatever you want. If you want it to be a circle again, or yeah, you're gonna have to bug around with this. Um, you can change it. If you want a rectangle, you can just set it to 0 0.01. If you set it to zero, it kind of bugs out, but uh, yeah, that's how you do it. So we're just going to put it zero, zero, 005. But now we're going to do the example here.
So you can see we have a nice round menu button or settings button in the corner here compared to that old one. Um, it works the same way. Uh, UI works nicely. I broke something there, but yes. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to proceed with the examples. I'm just going to speed run this part so you don't need to waste your time while I show you how uh, you can use this method to enhance your GUIs. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Um, this is me the next day. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hope you learned something. If you have any questions or concerns, hit me up in the comments or in the Discord server in the description below. Same thing with any video ideas or content that you would like to see. But if that's all, that's going to be it for me from this video. I'll see you in the next one.